Welcome back guys and uh, good day. Uh, today we will be, our topic for discussion will be protection, protection really setting for calculation for medium voltage bus coupler. So our subject bus coupler will be this and it's been connected between uh, B, uh, BBA and BBB. So this is located on the 11 KB switch gear of our of the building A. So this will be our third video. Earlier, if you follow our uh, discussion, the first video we calculated also the uh, release setting for this bus coupler. Then the second video, we calculated the release setting of these outgoing feeders from here and also here, which is the same release setting for the incomers of this 11 KB switch gear from this one and also this incomer from here. So as I discussed earlier, this will be a total of eight videos. This subject here will be our third video. So for our, this is our summary. So this will be the third part of our discussion for this entire power system. So our really will be located in this area here, this bus coupler from here. So earlier, this is our first video, the part one, and this is our um, second video, we called it part two. So please watch also this uh, previous two videos to understand how we calculate our relay setting from this section and this section. So I will not repeat to discuss regarding how we come out with the uh, assignment of the time setting because I have also I have already discussed on my earlier videos so on this uh, third part we will be calculating uh, for our relay coordination we'll be calculating here the time over current relay for the face and for the ground so here, we assign here uh, the time setting to be 0 0.85 seconds in order to coordinate our downstream relay which is being set at 0 0.6 seconds. Okay, so how we come out this uh, result from here, we're going to discuss now. <clears throat> This is the bus coupler for the uh, 70 BBA and 70 BBB. Okay, coming from this one and this bus from here. So um, our subject really here will be F60 from GE and Micro one P143 from Schneider Electric. CT is 2,500 is to 1 Ampere, Bargain is 10 VE, Class Pi P20. On our PT, rating here, the ratio is 11,000 volts into 110 volts. Okay, so the rated current of the main bus bar is 3,150 Ampere, but our really here, we'll just, we use only 2,500 Ampere is to 1 Ampere. Our 11 KB minimum line to line fault, 8,406 Ampere. Our 11 KB minimum line to ground fault is 409 Amperes. So, we will be having four relays I'm here to calculate. We have a release, we have relay 51, and this relay 51, we will be having a two threshold. We have here a relay 51N, Relay 59 and Relay 27. So for 
Relay 51 we will be having two results. First, we're going to discuss now the first result. So, our first result is being set at 120% of the rated CT and the main bus bar. By the way, our rated CT here is 2,500 multiplied by 120%. So, that's why our first threshold pickup current is 3,000 Ampere or at 1.2 per unit. Our inverse time curve is I triple E very inverse set at 0 0.25 our time dial multiplier is 0 0.25 so how we come up this uh, value here so this is our equation and this is a constant values from I triple standard our time being set at 0.85 second as I discussed earlier with a uh, coordination time interval of 250 milliseconds because downstream is being set at 60 milliseconds 6.6 .6 second by the way so uh, by substituting all these values from here and our uh, line to line fault and our pickup current okay from here we come out for our calculation our time dial multiplier is 0 0.25 ampere so that's why we have this information from here that is for our first threshold and our second threshold that will be 105 percent of the downstream threshold prote protection setting so how we got this uh, 400 4320 ampere if you refer to our previous calculation this one here okay so we have this 4320 ampere we use this value the setting for the downstream this is the setting for the phase uh, overcurrent uh, relay the time for downstream so we'll just adapt that one and use that one to coordinate to our upstream so we'll just multiply by 105 percent and our threshold our first uh, our second threshold is being set at 4525 ampere or 1.81 per unit so we we'll just multiply this one to our um, ct ratio which is one oh one over 2500 that's why we have this 1.81 per unit with a definite time set at 0 0.85 seconds then our earth fault protection this threshold is set at 12.2 percent of the rated current of the ct so we'll just multiply this 12.2 percent for our rated current ct which is 2500 we have here uh the value or pick our um uh, threshold our pickup current for our airfoil protection is 305 ampere or 0 0.122 per unit the same for our phase element our ground element here is being set our different our time is also definite time is being set at 0 0.85 second then for our uh, uh, voltage protection first on our uh, relay 59 the phase over voltage protection the same uh, setting with our previous uh, video for use topic downstream it's been set at 115 percent of the rated voltage so the our rated voltage from here is 11,000 multiplied by 1.15 that's why our setting here is 1260 rather 12650 volt at 1.15 per unit okay so our time it has here our time since our um, phase over voltage rotation settings is the same as downstream our time here is has to be coordinated downstream downstream earlier on our uh, uh, 
uh, second video, we called it part 2 of 8 video, it is being set at 2 seconds. Here, in order to coordinate downstream, we're going to set it at 2.25 seconds. Next, our face under voltage protection. This is being set at 80% of the rated voltage. So, our under voltage uh, uh, protection here is the peak of value is 8,800 volts at 0 0.80 per unit mm -hmm. with a definite time set at 3.75 seconds because downstream our time setting is being set at 3.5 seconds so it has to coordinate also downstream for our phase under voltage protection thanks for watching